Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video guys and today I'll be showing you how to get to Texture Island and I'll be showing you how to get to the football stadium as well as well as some high rise places that you can reach if you have the time and the patience but without further ado let's get to it. So to get to a place I call Texture Island guys, first you're going to have to get across the border, drive north and then east around the outside of the map. And then when you find yourself driving under the water here, you're going to have to look right, find the island and then jump out your vehicle, swim a marathon and then eventually you will get to the place I call Texture Island. And the reason I call it that is because when you emerge from the water and have a look, you'll notice that it just looks pretty barren and empty. But if you find a vehicle, spawn a vehicle, or just walk around the island, you'll see it kind of looks like a giant paint palette with different textures are rendering all around the outside. There's grass, there's mud, there's sand, there's concrete, there's any texture you can find in the game, it will be here on this island. It's probably an area the developers used during the beta testing, but it's pretty cool to find and I thought it was quite interesting, so I figured out I'd fire it on this video. Not only then does the area have different color textures, the different textures have different resistances depending on the vehicle you drive. So if you're power sliding along the map, it will be a different texture on grass and a different feel on grass than it is to say wet mud or sand. Moving on to the football stadium guys or the event stadium. First you'll have to get this area of the map, jump onto a high sided vehicle and climb up onto the roof here. It's pretty easy to do and you can explore to your heart's content once you're there. You'll find monorail stations, hard coded doors, staircases, pretty good textures and renderings for the front side of the building but as you get round to the back you'll find that things tend to get a bit blurry and messier to the eye. You can climb up on the railway station and access different areas from here but just be careful when you walk across because you will find empty window panes along the rooftop. You can explore the staircase and outside areas and you can see the front side of the building is pretty well detailed and hard coded. If you want to you can jump on the monorail and explore further but there's not really much there and you'll be met with some invisible walls along the way and sometimes it will try and kick you off. Once you've jumped across both monorail stations, you can access one of the top tiers of the stadium and run around to the very back. Once you're there, if you drop down to the mid section, you can then spawn vehicles to your heart's content using the car glitch method to get higher up to the rooftop. Just be careful not to do what I did and spawn this absolute monstrosity. Of course, this is Johnny Silverhand's car with a bad hair day and appears that the rendering have gone a bit haywire just because I'm outside the map. I've never seen this before, but you can drive this vehicle and it looks equally as weird. And if you want to trip into a second dimension, then have a look inside the vehicle because this is equally trippy. Using the patent pending car glitch method, then you can spawn vehicles going towards the desert, using them as a staircase to get higher up onto the stadium roof. On your version of the game, if you just check the rendering by shooting the structure, if you have bullet reactions or explosive reactions, then it means the area is hard coded and you can walk across it. This might not be the same for all versions across the board for the different console versions, but give it a try and if you have a reaction, then you can walk on it. 
Renders might look like they're solid, but as you see here, you can fall through them at any moment's notice. You can also drive on top of the structure, but just be aware that between the support beams there are invisible walls, and if you want to get around the outside of the area, you're going to have to drive around the outside of the circumference to explore further. There are different advertisement billboards along here which you can drive under and you can also drive through to the bottom section of the stadium and check out what it has to offer inside there. There's not much of the way in entertainment here but there are some interesting rendered areas, large mounds and sandy areas. There are hard-coded buildings to either side of the structure, which suggests to me that this could be a future DLC area, but that is merely speculation. You can drive outside the stadium by going through the wall but don't expect to get back in the same way because when you do you're just going to hit a solid wall. If you want to get higher up onto the digital billboards all you have to do is walk up the support structure, spawn a vehicle behind you, use it as a step and use a double jump facility to get higher up. If you're careful, you can use a run and double jump to access the support beams on the glass roof and walk along them as well. And when you get further in towards the middle, you can actually walk on the glass as well. There's nothing to see through the glass and it's just a mere reflection of the sky, but you can also drive on this and have a bit of fun. If you want to test out your motorcycle skills, spawn a bike on top of the digital pillars and see how well you do on racing around the outside of the structure. But be careful because as you can see here, I nearly lost it and wobbled off the edge. But like a pro, recovered it on time. That is a stadium guys, I thought this was a pretty cool structure and it was basically discovered by a complete accident running around the map and thinking I could maybe explore this area. Turns out it was actually easily accessible and as you're going here if you want to you can jump this sloped building and get to the roof but just be aware that when you get to the top the site can be unsightly and very very glitchy as the city tends to disappear and the floor falls out from under you sometimes so just be aware and as before if you're trying any of these glitches make sure you have a solid save point that you can always go back to without ruining your game. If you have the time and the patience you can extend the car glitch method and use a staircase to get up to these apartments here that have either been destroyed or are currently under construction. There's some pretty cool billboards and paintings on the side of the buildings, but I thought I'd go a bit higher to see just what was there.
As you get higher you can see the stadium in the background, the roof has disappeared and the city doesn't look too healthy with black random patches everywhere. But if you get closer to the third building under construction and you jump over the other two, you can see a hard coded area and actually drive and walk along that as well. If you punch your vehicle or use a weapon, the vehicle will drop tier by tier and you can control yourself into a nice descent onto the area. There's some pretty good views from up here. You can see the stadium and you can see different wall art there. Looks like a tarot card. And if you go out to the eastern point, you can see the sea defense structures the tunnels, play area, and the rocket facility as well. If you're careful and patient, you can drop down each tier where there's a hard-coded surface, and you can determine the hard-coded surfaces with the non-hard-coded surfaces by the rendering texture. If something looks blurry and very bland, you can probably walk through it or fall through it, so just be careful, always save the game. As always, you don't wanna get stuck up here because that would be very, very bad. You can drop down tier by tier, but make sure you don't go too far close to the edge because you'll end up going into a different dimension like here and falling straight through to your death. One more bonus clip for you then guys, and I thought these two aircraft were gonna collide, but it turns out they just glitched out and disappeared. Here at Deconstruct the Game, we don't use clickbait or ads to draw your attention, and everything you see here is genuine for the Xbox console version of the game, and everything here is a vanilla version. There are no mods involved, and everything you see is by basically exploiting various uh, things in the game, and I'll show you how you can do that as well. If you like more of this content, check out our Twitch feed because there can be live versions of me doing glitches and you can ask me questions and ask me to go to various places that you're trying to get into as well. I'm Mike, this is Deconstructing the Game, I'll catch you later.